Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. How can you make a God unto yourself when you're greater than the thing that you made a God to? That probably went over a lot of people's head. There's a lot of words right there. But you can't make a God unto yourself, but the God of Israel made you. Read on, come on. And he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. And he that bound his own spirit fashioned them. Read on. But no man can make a God like unto himself. That's what Solomon is saying. No man can make a God like unto himself. So you can't pick up this image right here and say, that's a God. No, we understand the God of Israel created everything else and I'm not worshiping that particular image right there. It's, that's all it is, it's just that. That's it. That's all it is. All right, read that again, that part. But no man can make a God like unto himself. No man can make a God like unto himself. We're gonna get an example of that, read on. For being mortal, he worketh a dead thing. He worketh a dead, that dead, that dead thing is what? An image that can't even move, can't move, can't breathe, can't hear anything. That's what's dead. Read on. With wicked hands. With wicked hands because they put their strength into this image or this graven carved image and think that it's going to come alive. Read on. For he himself is better than the things which he worshipeth. Something that has life is better than something that's just sitting there and not a God. All right, read on, come on. Whereas he lived once, but they never. They've never even drawn breath to live a life. So how can you ever say that these are gods in the first place? You're greater than it. From that, let's get an example. Bell and the Dragon, verse three. Verse three, we're gonna get an example real quick in the scriptures. This, once again, we're still dealing with, thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. Read on. Bell and the dragon, verse 3. Now the Babylonians had an idol. The Babylonians are the Cushites, or from the people of Ham, all right? The original Babylonians, not the ones that migrated there today. Read on. Now the Babylonians had an idol called Bell. Mm -hmm. And there were... So, so their god in particular was what? Bell. B-E-L. Read on. And there were spent upon him every day. 12 great measures of fine flour. There was 12 great measures of fine flour, read. And 40 sheep and six vessels of wine. So this was food that was prepared or sacrifices that was prepared by the king that was given unto this false god, Baal, read on. And the king worshiped it. And the king worshiped it, read. And went daily. So if the king worshiped it, he made his subjects do the same, all right, read on. And went daily to adore it. And he went daily to adore it. Likewise, everyone else in his kingdom, read. But Daniel worshiped his own god. But Daniel worshiped the true living god, read. And the king said unto him, why does that, why does not thou this worship Baal? This is also a good example to show that even if you are monks, Right now in this generation that we live in, Daniel was getting threatened to be put to death for still believing in his God. He had to almost be brought to the point of being forced to believe in these other gods. He said, no, I'm going to stand up and believe in the true God. And you're going to see uh, Daniel's personality towards these other gods. You're going to read Daniel laughed at these dang on uh, heathens. All right. We're going to read that. Okay, so it's not hard because they're not killing you to worship Christmas. They're not killing you to worship New Year's. But what they will do and what our people fall in is that they'll talk bad about you. They'll speak again. They'll look at me different. They'll act that. They'll, they'll treat me a different kind of way. That's what you fear. That's nothing compared to what 
your forefathers went through. So, okay, read on, come on. And the king said unto him, mm -hmm. Why does not thou worship Bel? So the king asked him, Why don't you worship Bel? Read on. This was, this was King Cyrus of Persia. All right. The, uh, the Elamite people. All right. The so called East Indian people. Read on, come on. Who answered and said, Read. Because I may not worship idols made with hands. Those same idols that Solomon spoke about. Those same idols that God said not to bow themselves down to. Read on. But the living God. Mm -hmm. But Who, the living God. We worship the real God. We worship the God that made the materials to build that God that you worship. Meaning the wood and the brass. It's going to explain it. Read on. Come on. But the living God. Mm -hmm. Who hath created the heaven and the earth. Right. Come on. And has sovereignty over all flesh. Has dominion over all flesh. We worship the living God. Read on. Then said the king unto him. Then said the king unto him. He tested him. Read on. Thinkest thou not that Bel is a living God? You don't think that Bel is living? That is real? Read. Seest thou not how much he eateth and drinketh every day? Man, I get these sacrifices and ceremonies. I set these ceremonies up every single day. And the food is there one day and it's gone the next. Man, my God is real. That's what that's what this king is saying right now. Read on. Then Daniel smiled. Then he what? Then Daniel smiled. You a joke. That's what the man that was the mentality of our forefathers and foremothers, alright? Because we know we knew what was real. We under Daniel laughed. Why did he laugh? Why did he smile? Because he knew it was fake. And that's what you gotta understand. Christmas is a joke. Thanksgiving is a joke. Valentine's Day is a joke. New Year's is a joke. And the truth is going to make you free from them lies. Bring on, come on. Then Daniel smiled and said, O right. king, be not deceived, mm -hmm. for this is but clay within. This is just clay within that my living God made. Read on. And brass without. And brass without. All right, read. And did never eat or drink anything. It can't eat or drink nothing. Why? Solomon said that. It can't hear no prayer. It can't move his feet. It can't move anywhere. It can't breathe nothing. It's not real. Read on. So the king was wroth, mm -hmm. and called for his priests, and said unto them, He was mad. Ah, how dare you disrespect what I believe in. Read on. If ye tell me not who this is that devoured these expenses. So he went to the priest. Listen here, look, look. Y'all gonna tell me who the hell been eating my food. Because I could have had that. That's what he's saying. Read on, come on. Ye shall die. You're gonna die if you can't explain to me why these sacrifices and ceremonies that I leave here every single day are gone. Read on. But if he can certify me that Bell devoured them, then Daniel shall die. Then Daniel, he's gonna die. If he can if you all can't prove to me that Bell ate this, then uh y'all gonna die. But if you can prove to me that he did, show me him moving and eating the food, Daniel's gonna die. That's what he was faced against. Read on. For he has spoken blasphemy against Bell. Mm -hmm. And Daniel said unto the king, let it be according to thy word. Let it, Daniel, he had full confidence. He said, man, go ahead. Let it be according to your word. Thou sayest, King Cyrus, thou sayest. All right. Read. Come on, let's go. Now the priests of Bel were three score and ten uh -huh. beside their wives and children. Now why would it mention the 70? That's what three score. Score is 20. Three score, that's 60. 60 and 10, that's 70. Easy count. All right. We ain't black no more. We Israelites. Anyway, listen. 60 priests with their wives and children. Read on, come on. And the king went with Daniel into the temple of Bel. Right. So Bel priest said, Lo, we go out. But thou, O king, set on the meat. So this is the setup right here. He said, King, go out, but we gonna stay right here. Read that part again, come on. So Bel priest said, Lo, we go out. We go out, right. The, the priest went out, read on. But thou, O king, set on the meat. And while you at it, get the uh the goat and the, the oxen and some more sheep and some uh you know chickens and stuff like that king set the meat right there yeah do that right there for us well just do it <laughs> ain't gonna say it's not gonna explain for us yet read on come on and make ready the wine and, the, and make ready the wine yeah because uh we want some wine too <laughs> read on come on and shut the door fast and shut it fast read on. and seal it with thine own signet and the signet, speaking of the king's signet, nobody could surpass that signet. Read, come on. That's and it. That's it right there. Now jump to verse 14. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Verse 14. Right. So when they were gone forth, the king sent meats before Bel. Now once again, we're still dealing with the commandment when it's in Exodus chapter 20, verse uh, 4, when it says, Thou shalt not have any other graven images, nor bow down unto them. All right? 
any graven images or bow down to them. Read on, come on, verse 14. So when they so when they were gone forth, the king set meats before Bel. Now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes, right. and those they strewed throughout all the temples. So you gotta paint the picture of what's going on. The doors were shut, the meat was set, the wine was ready. The wine was ready by the king. The doors were shut, the priests were out. Then Daniel, with his genius and common sense, he put ashes on the ground because he understood what was going on. Read on. Those they strewed throughout all the temple in the presence of the king alone. Mm -hmm. Then went they out and shut the door. Then went they out all and they shut the door. But mind you, the ashes were still on the floor. Read, come on. And sealed it with the king's signet. And sealed it with the king's signet, as I said earlier. Read on. And so departed. Read verse 15. Now in the night came the priests with their wives and children. Now at night came the priests. They was just checking to make sure if they was going to wake up the, uh, the, the god, Bell. They was going to wake him up. Hey, come on, eat. That's what they was doing. That's, maybe that's what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was sleeping. We forgot to wake him up. We the priests, right? That's what they do. Read that part again. Now in the night came the priests with their wives and children. Right, they came. Even the kids. Hey, Bell, wake up. Read. As they were wont to do. As they were wont to do. Want to do men as they did previously. Like they always did. Read on. And did eat and drink up all. They, eat, they did what? And did eat and drink up all. So the priests, they was talking to their kids. Remember that beef I was talking about? Yeah, here you go. Get this round real quick. Come on, get some wine, wife. All of that. That's what was going on. Yeah, the king get the king did this. His priest was setting the priest was setting the king up to believe in a false god. And they loved it so. Read on. In the morning, the time the king arose. Jump to verse 18. Verse 18. He arose, the king rose up. And as soon as he had opened the door, the king looked upon the table and cried with a loud voice. The king's like, Daniel, you see this right here? You see that, Daniel? He talking about don't worship no other gods in Bible for them. Daniel, look, the food is gone. He raised up and praised his God named Baal. Read that part again from the top. And as soon as he had opened the door, the king looked upon the table uh -huh. and cried with a loud voice. <laughs> Great art thou, O Baal. Great art thou, that's what he said, O Baal. Real. And with thee is no deceit at all. And with thee is no deceit at all. With Baal, it's no deceit at all. He was excited. The food is gone. Let's see what Daniel did. Then laughed Daniel. And held the king that he should not go in. Ha ha, you damn fool. <laughs> he laughed and why? Because he didn't understand. It's gonna, the story's going to unfold right now. It says, then laughed Daniel. What did he do? Read. And held the king that he should not go in. Don't go in yet, king. Hold on, wait a minute. I don't want you to mess up what I set up <laughs> on the floor because I, I put ashes on the ground. Don't mess up. I don't want you to mistake and think that it was something else. Read that part again. Then laughed Daniel and held the king that he should not go in, and said, Behold, now the pavement, and mark well and mark well whose footsteps are these. So Daniel said, Hey Cyrus, see them footsteps right there? You see that ash around the footsteps? You see that shape? Look at the big toe, the big foot, the small feet. Look, those look like feet of children. That looks like a foot of a uh, oversized priest right there. Look at that one. That look like a woman's foot. Dang, you see that? Hmm. Bell got them many feet? <laughs> Read on, come on. And the king said, I see the footsteps of men, women, and children. The king said, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. I see the king, I see the footsteps of what? Men, women, and children. Men, women, and children, uh-huh. And then the king was angry. Why was he angry? Because he understood that these gods are false. One small example in our scriptures where you gotta understand and learn. Go back to that in Exodus. Just read the first part, verse 5, Exodus 20 and 5. Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Right. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Don't bow down yourself to them. And do what? Nor serve them. Nor serve them. Worship them as if they are God. From that, let's go to Luke chapter 20, verse 38. Luke 20, 38. The book of Luke chapter 20, verse 38. Right. For he is not a God of the dead. Right. Our God is not the God of the dead. As... Oh, Daniel explained the belly of the dragon. Read on. But of the living. But the God of the living. Read that one more time. For he is not the God. For he is not a God of the dead. Uh -huh. But of the living. But of the living. Read on. For all live unto him. For all live unto him. Meaning God gave everybody life. So why would you worship a God of an image, and you're greater than it yourself? All right. Let's go. Back.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.